Good morning, YouTubers. So today what I'm going to be doing is a little bit of a different video for this uh, channel. Now I have done a tech review before and that was for Kit Guru when I won an SSD or a solid state drive from them. If you haven't checked that one out, go back onto the channel, it's there. I'll put a link down in the um, description as well for you, so it's down there. Have a look at that one, I actually did a massive written review for that as well. It was for a OCZ SSD, so if you're interested in getting an SSD, if you're looking to get one, Go back onto the channel, have a look at that one, because that is a really, really top-notch SSD. This time, however, what I'm looking at is some gaming peripherals. So these are really, really surprisingly cheap gaming peripherals, but so far, they're definitely, definitely worth the money. So if you live in England or Europe, I think there's Aldi's and everything, there's a big supermarket called Aldi. Um, I'll flash a big like, brand name somewhere around here somewhere so you know exactly what I'm talking about. Now these guys are, literally do part and parcel everything. They'll pick up and they'll just sell literally anything. This time they're picking up, they've picked up and they're selling PC, gaming uh, keyboards, mice, headsets. I've actually gone and picked myself up obviously a keyboard and a mouse but I haven't got a headset because I've already got a Razer so that was a little bit pointless and getting one of those but for both the keyboard and the mouse that was £10 each but that is just silly cheap now I thought it would be best and wifey actually convinced me it would be best to do a video like this because of how cheap it is uh, I think some people may be a little bit hesitant in purchasing things like this you do need good solid like sturdy um, especially mice and keyboards because they're Obviously, under so much use and so much stress as you're gaming, like they've got to be properly, properly built, else they're just going to break on you, and it's a complete waste of money. So, starting off with, they come in three different colours. I think they come in green, orange. I've got obviously the blue one because they didn't have any green ones. I wish they had had green ones because that would have been that would have been awesome because my razors are green. But never mind. But blue will do. Now, they come with a three-year warranty, which is amazing 10 pounds for a three-year warranty as well like that is so if they do crap out on you for any reason you've got three years to go and get a new one but to be honest i don't think they're going to be crapping out on you the keyboard the keyboard is so heavy and so sturdy i it completely beats my 40 quid keyboard into the ground so my 40 pound keyboard is actually a logitech i think it's like an m K300 or something, MK30, something like that. I bought it absolutely donkeys years ago, but the wireless signal on it's been actually crapping out on me, so I've just been thinking recently I really need to purchase something. And then these came up, and it was quite lucky actually. Really, really glad of buying these. I'm so glad. The keyboard's really comfortable to use, it's really easy to use. It's got loads and loads of extra features and buttons on the top. I'm not going to go through them all, but it's just all stuff that you kind of expect to see. So, next playlist, all that kind of stuff. Really, really awesome keyboard. Like I said, it's so heavy and it's so sturdy and it's just so well built as well. It's, it's easily, easily worth 10 quid. 10 quid in terms of gaming stuff is absolutely ridiculous. This kind of stuff may not be the best if you're like pro gamer, but to be honest, if you're just getting into PC gaming, you're picking up a few games, you've got a bit of League of Legends, or you've got a few MMO RPGs, anything like that. Call of Duties, Battlefields, anything like that. I promise you, go and spend 10, 20 quid on a mouse and a keyboard, and you're gonna easily increase your your fun factor that you're getting out of games by quite a bit so still looking at the keyboard so it's really sturdy it's really well built it's an actual gaming keyboard it's got loads of extra features on it it's obviously got a blue backlight as well so it lights everything up the only problem with that is if you're actually playing in a dark room it does actually hide the uh, keys so if you're not too good on a keyboard, just have a light beside you because it's quite difficult to see with the blue beaming up the actual keys and everything. So you just got to have a light right beside you and then obviously you can see exactly what you're typing. I haven't actually figured out, I don't think you can, looking at it, I don't think you can. Do -do -do -do. Yeah, I don't, I don't think you can actually turn the backlight off which is a shame really but that's literally the only quibble I have with this keyboard from £10 keyboard that ain't bad going so just have a light right beside you you're going to be alleviating that problem anyway straight off the bat so it's nothing to worry about 
the the wire is quite a sturdy braided I think it's 1.8 or 1.4 meter long cable so it's quite a hefty long cable and it's good solid braided it's not like little rubbery plasticky crap that's going to break on you straight away so it's really really well designed really well made keyboard I honestly wholeheartedly promise you if you're looking at a new gaming keyboard if you're looking at a backup gaming keyboard put some money into this it's I promise you it's, it's definitely worth it. I actually forgot to say what the brand was. The brand's Max Tech. I've never heard of it. I think it's just one of those very small companies that actually produce stuff like this and then just will sell it to anyone. But to be honest, brands and brands to me. I don't care about brand. As long as the thing works, as long as the thing's going to last me as well, I'm happy to be honest. With a three year warranty, I have no quibbles whatsoever no quibbles whatsoever so moving on to the mouse the mouse actually is really good I've never actually had a gaming mouse I've only ever had a standard mouse with a wheel in the middle and that was it three buttons that's it never had anything else this one is it's not the biggest of gaming mouses however it does have more buttons it has a page forward a page back button which is really useful because I'm still getting the hang of that actually using that without having to go off and press the back or the forward button all the time it's quite a nice little feature really it's got a quite a nice little design as well I always thought I had an overhand grip but it turns out I don't I have a claw grip which I think majority of people do have this mouse is actually properly designed for a claw grip as you have to show you these little wing bits that come out here which your fingers actually sit right beside in which is really nice you've got a couple of holes here as well so it's actually keeping it aerated and you're not getting, I'm not finding my hat, my fingers are getting sticky or sweaty or anything like that. And I've used it for the longest time I've used it so far, it was about three hours on the trot. Absolutely no bother whatsoever. So it's got a mouse wheel as well. It says that it has a three dimensional mouse wheel. I'm not really sure what the hell that means, to be honest, but I'm sure some of you guys do. On the top as well, there is an actual DPI selector, which is really, really nice. I've never had that before. So you've got the choice between an 800, 1200, 1600, 2400. I think I've got mine on 1600, but it's just one of those things. Just have a play around with it. Have a play around on the desktop. Have a play around in games. See what actually suits you better. Some people can move mouse really, really quick, and they need it to be really, really quick. Some people want to be a little bit more slow, a little bit more detailed with it. Just choose whichever DPI you want to. To be honest, it's so easy. You can actually change it when you need to anyway. So if you're in League of Legends and you need it to be a little bit slower, just turn it a little bit slower. Get back onto your desktop. You need it to be a bit quicker. Just press the big yellow button in the middle and it's straight away done. No problem whatsoever. So both the keyboard and the mouse are actually plug and play. Not had to install any drivers whatsoever, which is always good. It always just stops any aggro and any pain in the ass and it's happening. So literally, I've got USB extenders because I'm sat so far away from my TV. I'll just have a quick, I'll just quickly show you what I mean. So I'm sat that far away from the TV. As a computer, it's TV. So I've actually gone and got some USB extenders which are dirt, dirt cheap. They're only about quid fifty for a two meter long one and that is plenty enough, that's so long. So I've got two of those in the back of the computer, keyboard and mouse plugged into both of those, absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. There's no there's no um, latency between my clicking on either the keyboard or the mouse. Everything responds exactly as it should be. I'm actually still trying to get used to a mouse that works and doesn't drop wireless signal all the time. It's really quite strange after using that for about five years. I've actually conditioned myself to using a broken mouse since so I'm now actually having to try to use a working mouse and it's actually proven a little bit more difficult than I thought it would. Um, the mouse Going back to the mouse, it does have a braided cable again, it's about 1.4 meters long, so it's a long old wire, if you sat at a desk like most normal people, it's plenty enough long for you, plenty enough, really, really good bits of kit. Like I said, they're both £10 each, there are headsets available as well down in Audi, but I haven't actually got one of those, so I can't tell you what that's about. They look pretty decent, I think they're a little bit more, I think they're about 15 quid, so they're a little bit more expensive, but to be honest, if this quality is anything to go by, the headsets are going to be awesome. I really do think that. I wouldn't be recommending shit. I wouldn't be recommending stuff that I wouldn't personally want to use. And I'm not being paid to do this. I'm not. I'm not endorsing them in any way. Anything like that. This is literally. I just wanted to put it out there because I know. And wifey, I was actually saying this to wifey as well. She said, because the stuff is so cheap, it may actually make people a little bit hesitant. May put people off. So, I just. 
I wanted to really put my thoughts on both the mouse and the keyboard out there. Obviously, I can't I can't advise you on the headset, but the mouse and the keyboard are definitely definitely worth the money. I promise you wholeheartedly, you will not be you you won't be regretting your decision to buy one at all whatsoever. Even if it's going to be your primary or your backup gaming uh, mouse and keyboard, whichever way, you're not going to be disappointed whatsoever. Right, so that's pretty much it for this one. I hope you've enjoyed this kind of different version of video that uh, is usually on the channel. If you have, if you could leave me a uh, comment, a like, whatever, just tell me what you thought. Tell me if you've actually picked one up as well, if you're from England or Europe. Um, I'm not sure what the availability is, but I know that they were advertising pretty heavily, so I'm sure they're going to be having quite a few in stock, to be honest. So, if there isn't any in your actual shop, just go and ask them. They're always nice. They're, they'll just probably order you some in. So, really, really worth while well getting, I promise you. But, like I said, thank you for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I hope I've shown you some really good and value for money stuff. I really do. Um, but, yeah, thank you for watching. Leave me a like, comment, subscribe, all that kind of fun stuff. You know, you know the deal. You know it. Right. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one.